Soap operas, we don't have to tell you how popular they've become. It seems today, everybody watches them. But where do soap operas come from? No, not from the stork or the peacock. Another world, one of NBC's most popular soap operas, comes from this building in Brooklyn, New York. Tonight, we'll take you behind the scenes of another world, and we have a surprise for you, because sometime in the next 10 minutes, Sheila and I are gonna make the trip to Bay City. After 19 years on the air, NBC's Another World is one of the most popular daytime dramas on television. Since 1964, soap opera addicts have been following the fates and fortunes of Rachel Davis, Stephen Frame, Mackenzie Corey, and the rest of the anguished residents of Bay City, USA. Now, although most people think that Bay City really exists, actually, Another World is videotaped here in New York. We're standing in Studio One, 11,500 square feet of television located in Brooklyn, where they're about to tape Another World episode number, hit it. 4,653. 3A rehearsal. This is one of five episodes the cast and crew will tape this week. The show is the result of a collaborative effort between the dozens of producers, actors, and technical personnel that make Another World's Bay City come to life. The man in charge of this huge production is Jim Baffico. When the going gets tough in here, we hear, JB, what do we do? <laughs> what are the headaches involved with your job? I love it. As, uh, as producer, the main headache is just getting the show done every day. The headaches, you name them. You know, people are late, the set's not up, it's the wrong color, this has to be fixed, we have a technical breakdown, um, the schedule doesn't work the way we thought it would work, and on and on and on. Three shot break. I don't want to, Elaine. Okay, now, ten. While Jim deals with headaches in the control room, one of three staff directors handles the activity on the studio floor. And although Barnett Kelman and Ron Lagermarsino work at different times, they agree that the director is in the hot seat. We're all under pressure here, but uh, it is up to the director to, to set the pace for the day. I mean, we uh, have to do an hour show every day and we don't go home until we get it done. And we've stayed here into the wee hours getting the show done because it, we have to keep uh, ahead. And keeping ahead means working fast. There's not a lot of time for rehearsal or memorizing lines. But David Canary, who plays Steve Frame, believes that atmosphere works to the show's advantage. You come in and basically do your thing and do it very quickly. Um, there's something very spontaneous about that. Every scene is an improv. They're not really adequately rehearsed. So there's an improvisational feeling about every scene. And I love that. It's always a challenge. Can it be pulled off? If Another World has a star among its stars, it's Victoria Wyndham. Her portrayal of Rachel Davis has earned her an Emmy Award. And though she makes it look easy, she says the fast pace can be rough at times. Because we all feel that we're, you know, under the gun all the time. The writers are under the gun, the actors are under the gun. Um, we're turning out a brand new show every single day in less time than any other medium takes to turn out a production. Oh, Mark, I knew I wore leather for a good reason today. Because of the immense pressure on the set, many of the actors try to keep their minds off their work by clowning around. Two of the biggest jesters on the Brooklyn set are Chris Rich and Laura Malone, Bay City's Sandy and Blaine. Get out of here with the coat in the pocketbook all the time. How do you expect me to act if I'm holding all that stuff? Chris says there's a good reason for all the levity. Because basically we're bad actors and we have to make up for it somehow. <laughs> no, we have a philosophy about having fun on the set and letting the crew have fun as much as possible too because it makes it happier for everybody. And we go down the set and they're all like, all right, here comes Chris and Laura and it's, you know, it's fun time. It's work time too, but if we have fun, then everyone has fun and the work is better. Okay, so it's fun. But how much fun? Well, that's exactly what Sheila and I are about to find out. The people at Another World have asked us to be soap opera stars for a day. Did I say stars? Make that shooting stars. As we stand Very beneath the sweltering fire. lights waiting for our cue, we Don't get a new perspective of Another World. This is a well-oiled machine. While Victoria practices the line she'll recite long after our part is over, Ron orders the cameras okay, into place. Lights are adjusted, microphones are checked, and before we know it, the countdown for rehearsal begins. Seven, six, five, five four, four, three... Two. Thank you, Miss Davis. You've been great, and uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, good. I'm looking forward to doing business with both of you. Thank you. Your gallery is lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, excuse me. Hi. Hi. 
Well, that wasn't so tough, but now it's time for the real thing. Five, four, three, two, one. And cue. Thank you, Miss Davis. You've been great, and uh, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, good. I'm looking forward to doing business with both of you. Thank you. Your gallery is lovely. Oh, thank you. Hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Well, that was uh, quick. You said it, Victoria. Quick and scary. But what do the pros think of our acting debut? I was a gog and a kimbo at your performance. <laughs> uh, it's understandable. I'm sure you'll get your own series out of it. <laughs> and finally, we understand. The secret of another world's success lies within the people who create it every day of the week. A group of people, a family really, who work together to make magic. Take it from 12-year veteran Douglas Watson. This is the essence of soap opera, which nobody seems to understand. There is no way you can plan it. There is no way you can act it. There is no way you can make it happen. No actor in the world can make it happen. It either happens or it doesn't happen. But when you get a scene exactly the way you want it, and it is indelibly put on tape, uh, it's very satisfying that uh, it is there in close-up the way it should be, because it happens very rarely. It's life in the theater, you know what I mean?